So, you need to mount your USB drive to your computer. How do you do it? Let me show you. Let's head to the terminal. To check the list of connected devices on your computer, we will type lsblk. You may see some loop devices, but don't worry about those. There's an MMC BLK0 device, which is an SD card on which my operating system is running. There is nothing else at the moment. Attach your USB drive to the computer and run lsblk again. And there it is. A new SDA disk appeared with the SDA1 partition. This is the disk partition I want to mount to my system. If you have a new disk drive, you will likely need to format that drive with an appropriate file system. For Linux, something like uh, X4 is fine. So to mount this partition to, the, to your system, you need to create a mount point where it will be connected to. Imagine just a folder on your system in which your disk will be. Usually and according to best practices in Linux, it should be a, a subfolder in the slash mnt folder. Let's create a folder, say usb-backup in there. sudo make dir slash mnt slash usb backup and mount that drive to it simply as sudo mount slash dev sda slash mnt slash usb backup. Let's see what's in there. ls slash mnt slash usb-backup. You can unmount it as easily as sudo umount slash mnt slash usb backup. And after this, you can just unplug the device from your computer. So, this is kinda okay, but what if we don't want to manually mount uh, that disk drive every time we reboot our computer? Or maybe a power outage comes once in a while. We want this device to mount automatically at system startup. So, how to do that? We only need to add information about this device to etc slash fstub. But we need to gather some information beforehand. We need to know the file system on the device and we need to know the UUID on that device. I presume you don't know any of that. So first the UUID. Attach that disk drive to your computer and run lsblk-f. It will show you the UUID of your disk partition. Copy it somewhere so we can use it later. And to check the file system, remount that disk as shown before by running sudo mount dev sda1 mnt usb backup and then run for example df dash uppercase th. You see here under the column type for dev sda it says x4. That's the file system information we will need very soon. So let's make this mount automatically. Edit the etc fstab file as root or use sudo with the text editor of your choice. I'll do sudo vim slash etc slash fstab and I'll add this line to it. UID 05fc2 and so on. MNT USB backup x4 no file x system the auto mount x system the idle and so on and so on. UID equals to the ID of your device you found with the lsblk-f command. Then the mount point slash mnt slash usb dash backup. Note that this directory doesn't need to exist beforehand. If it doesn't exist, it will be created. Then file system, in this case x4. We could use the auto value here to let the OS uh, deter determine the file system, but that is usually used for removable devices. And we are here to learn a thing or two. And then there are a bunch of options. You don't need to know what exactly they mean, but the, for the sake of clarity, I'll explain. No fail means that the boot will continue even if this mount point is not mounted, mounted successfully. X system D auto mount tells system D to auto mount this entry. X system D idle timeout tells it to wait 60 seconds before unmounting the device after last usage. X system D device timeout tells it to wait only two seconds before giving no such device if the device is not connected. Those are the options. Now save and close the file and run this to reload everything. sudo systemctl daemon reload and ampersand ampersand sudo systemctl restart local fs target. From now on this particular device will be mounted to slash mnt slash usb backup whenever uh, you need it. So you can reboot your device to see if everything went according to the plan. I hope this video helped you. Please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you. Bye.